All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Guild Wars 1 Prophecies. We are finding ourselves in Augury Rock because we just finished the first Crystal Desert mission, Alona Reach, and we are en route to the Thirsty River because we need to, and we need to get there before uh, tomorrow, this Sunday, which is our... I don't think... Yeah, this episode is not going to come out until after the event is finished, but either way... I'm, I need to get there ASAP because we are doing a co-op event of running Thirsty River Mission with as many players as possibles, possibles. Uh, so kind of interesting happened though is I need to fit I need I was trying to figure out how to get there from uh, Augury Rock so I looked on YouTube and if I found another Guild Wars 1 content creator in 2024 it goes by the name of Abaddon and a day ago he released uh, a video of how to get to Thirsty River from Augury Rock. Very lucky timing of that. So shout out to him. I'm going to put a tag of his uh, of his account on YouTube. And we're going to be using it to help us get there safely, I hope. From Augury Rock to Thirsty River. I want to try and get there quickly. I want to try and get this, make this video less than within 30 minutes that's kind of our goal here we got to be careful we can't rush through this these hydras are just nasty man need to get as many shutdowns as possible interrupts as possible on these guys he still got inferno off yeah one hydra is not bad two hydras is two hydras are Pretty bad. And three Hydras are just really tough. If even one of them gets off their AoE burst, they can really mess up my whole party. We're running double, double healers. And Lena the Protector Henchman kind of helps mitigate their massive burst damage, but Having mo going up against like two, three Hydras is kind of too much for her. We're going to be really careful. I think I pretty much know the route after watching Abaddon's video. But we're going to do our best not to over aggro. That's, that's the name of the game in the Crystal Desert. There's just so many threats here. And they can really overwhelm us. I thought the Hydras had some kind of um, enchantment. I, I swapped out Mantra of Persistence, mainly because I was forgetting to use it, but also I was, I was still running into some energy issues. So I'm using Drain Enchantment for some health and energy renewal, plus our Leech Signet and Power Drain, which are good interrupts and also energy renewal, so... With all of these four inspiration skills, we should be pretty good. Our skill bar looks pretty efficient. Everything is like under five energy. We even have the signet that is free. No energy costs. I should never see my energy bar low. All right, I think we're gonna need to go up against these three. Yeah, we got one, just one freaking meteor like that just destroys our whole team. I need to figure out like how to position them better. Alright. We can survive their initial bursts. Not too bad. And he wastes his inferno on just the soul, the, the fighter henchman. That's good. I wish they would like target Stefan, but they seem to just go after our squishy targets. It's 
to go up here and take out this Hydra. This Wastrel's um, Worry is pretty nice. If I combine Wastrel Worry with and, and successfully get off my Interrupts, it does pretty good AoE damage. Single target damage and AoE damage. Wow, it's a huge... Like, these are all like different small mobs of like three groups, three groups each, but gosh, there's so many of them. So I'm going to try my best to aggro with my bow. I think we can do this. Sneak them down here. Good, 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 good. And then I'm going to pull them towards me. Very good. No diversion for you. Keep empathy on their blade hands. Look at that. Chaos storm damage. Move them out of the AoE. I brought train enchantment. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I'm pretty sure these um what are they? These life bands though, they're monk enemies. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to use them on you on them. Cool. Got some elevation up here. All right. Let's pull the best group to pull. Let's let's start on the edge up here. Go. Bring it. Blade hand and bowmaster. Perfect. I can just use empathy on them. Let's switch to our field, shall we? We need to be faster with switching weapons. <laughs> Aggro another group here. Oh, did I over aggro? I right, go back, go back. Yep, I definitely over aggroed. Abandon that that plan. Okay. Don't all go up there. That was stupid. Oh. Just one small group here. You're good. No no, keep coming. Keep coming. Life band, there you are. Let's get diversion off on him and Wastrel's worry. It kind of puts them in a um what's the word? Predicament. Wastrel's worry makes them want to use a skill, and diversion makes them not want to use a skill. Kind of interesting like uh overloading the the uh ai decision making algorithm to use a skill or not lose lose life band get empathy on the warrior whoops get out of the chaos storm there, I can use Drain Enchantment on him. Huge energy gain. He chooses to take the damage rather than use a skill. That's a cool combo. Wastrel's Worry and Diversion. Very nice.
Thank you. Enchantment removal coming in. Very nice decision to bring this. Alright. Let's cast Empathy on the Blade Hand. Empathy on this blade hand. Oops. Alright, let's just switch to the wind caster. Hmm, max energy chalice. Alright, this was pretty smooth. Generally, if you're running into a difficult area like this, it's all about how you aggro it. I mean, the game is designed to not give you fair fights. So it's on, it's all on you, the player, to make the fights not fair for the enemy. A lot of strategy involved. Destiny's Gorge. Okay, this is not... This is... I think this is an outpost, but it's not a mission area. We might pick up some quests here, actually. Merchant, I need to sell some stuff, so that's good. I don't even remember picking up some of these items. We'll keep all the collectible items for now. Who knows? We might find a good item, a good weapon. And now Phipps, Eulenius, any, any quests here? Yep, there's one quest. Anel Phipps, what do you want? Long ago, my people, Skyward Reach, Theris, Yasith. Oh, cool. We get a, uh, we get two new skills. All right, let's do it. Where does it want us to go? Oh, back to Skyward Reach? All right, I guess we're going to be adding some time to this mission after all, or this video. Animal Mask, Inspiration, Max, Max Armor uh collector here but we cannot upgrade it with his insignia so it's not going to be permanent choice we just need to get four more shriveled eyes we might pick that up actually inspiration mask is not a bad choice all right so skyward reach we talked to saris what was his name yes this oh we have to go back to these guys Huh. I think we might just go to Augury Rock to do this then. Augury Rock and then back to Skyward Reach here. I think there's a teleporter over here we can take. Then we don't have to fight that horrible Losaru Centaur mob group. This Ceres Yathis, that name sounds really familiar. I think... I think there's a quest... that he gives to us. How do we get over there? Hopefully this is the right way. Oh, behind us. You dirty Hydra. Okay. Let's see what this guy's collecting. Spiny seed. We have not found any spiny seeds, but... Oh, that's a great chakram. Holy cow. 2020 chakram. 
Hmm. Need to remember that. No, we do not want to fight these guys. Fight this single Hydra. We want unfair fights. Oof, correct hit. Well, we're over aggroing here. Really difficult to coordinate my interrupt. Oh my gosh. Can we survive this? Get my interrupts off. What is that damage, man? Glad I got that heal off. Ooh, this was a tough battle, man. Did not mean to over aggro like that. Okay. Ooh, thought that was gonna be a wipe. But we're good. We persevered. I think we're gonna hit level 19 off of this video. One level closer to level 20. One level away, rather. So many Hydras, man. What's the best route? Let's take a wide route around. Mm. I keep finding more hydras though. There's kind of a road. Are you noticing that? There's like there's like roads here. The mini map. Alright, I see a route we can take. We can go up this way. We're gonna have to fight these hydras, it looks like. Heal. Oh, Empathy kind of does a ton of damage. 43 damage per attack. I like the spammability of my skills. I feel like there's always something for me to do in any situation. I'm not like waiting around. How do I get to Yasith? Is he up here? Oh, there he is. Saris Yathis. Sweet. Two new skills coming right up. Oh. Not paying attention. Wow. Lena just ate the dust. Bit the dust? Bit the dust. <laughs> Ate the dust. Uh. You're gonna. You didn't feel like helping us there, Saris Yathis? Alright, a thousand experience. You came seeking the wisdom of the forgotten. Know you then that my people are an ancient race, perhaps the most ancient to walk upon this world that, that you call Tyria. Once we ruled this world, now my people guard the secrets contained in the Mesa. Secrets of Ascension. I sense in you an inner strength that I have not seen in many peoples 
that have come to this desert throughout the ages. It may be that you will succeed in your quest, but nothing in this world is certain. I shall grant you a small boon to help you in your trials. But if you seek greater knowledge, forgotten wisdom, you must seek out another. Elemental resistance for... You gain 40 armor against elemental damage, but you lose 20 against physical. That would be pretty nice against the Hydras, I gotta say. Do we use it? Hmm... I don't know if we should use this or not. And what would we replace? I like every skill we're using. We could replace the version, but hmm, let's pass on it for now. Incendiary bonds. This is nice. Target foe and all nearby foes are struck for 20 fire damage and are set on set on fire for one second. This would be really good for our fragility 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 build, but not right now. Oh, another quest. Whoa! Hello. Oh, that's why. That's why I remembered his name. Saris Yathis, he gives the 15 attribute points quit, uh, quest. You seek more wisdom to help you along the path of ascension. Seek out my broodmate, Silas Yathith. Oh, they have the same last name. In the Arid Sea, he can grant you special insight. Great. Let's do that. Uh... As casting is high enough, let's get some inspiration. Now this heals a lot. All right, we can go. We'll do that later. Go back to Destiny's Gorge. We're still en route to Thirsty River. It's good to know that we got the 15 attribute point quest already. going to continue through the scar i believe yeah we need to head some like this direction somewhere still a high chance of us getting lost guys get out of the chaos storm Wow, they don't have... The good thing about these wind casters is they don't seem to have any fast casting. Their diversion casts so slow. Like mine takes about two seconds. Theirs takes the full three seconds. Um, Which way should we go? I guess we'll hit this teleporter. Rept Parn Freg. Cool name, not... A monk hydra we want to target this guy first shut down this guy bring that enchantment good get diversion on this guy Oh, we over aggroed. Nice AoE damage from Glacial's Worry. Very nice. Whoops, failed that. Really stressful. Ooh, I dodged that one. It's like, you guys get hit by it. I'm out of here. Dang, I missed it. Yeah, if I get the interrupts off correctly, I just have... I've got plenty of of energy to spam my first three skills, our first four skills. 
four, two, one, three. Four, two, one. really annoying design because you need to turn around to look at the teleporter switch and then this stupid oh there it goes invisible that's nice usually it's like that and you can't see two of them here we go where are we i don't know if this is the right way i need to ignore that green arrow actually Let's try and sneak around these guys. Like, they really made a... Like, these Windcaster enemies that they made are really kind of terrible. They have, like, the longest casting time Mesmer smells. smells but they have no... Um, they have no fast casting. They're just kind of useless. Imagine putting Arcane Conundrum on them. Six seconds casting time on spells. All right, we can sneak past him. Perfect. Jamie the Wanderer. What do you got? Hopefully we're going the right way, man. I'm just not really familiar with this spot. Sprites and hose. Okay, so max armor leggings for us. Either way, we're exploring. I mean, the name of the place we're going is Thirsty River. Oh, kind of feels like we're going the right way. Oh, I cast a spell. Cast another spell, but I wanted to interrupt him. That backfire does a lot of damage. Like a dead end. Oh, maybe not. None of this looks familiar to me, so probably going the wrong way. What do you guys think? Doro Ice High. It's got to be Elementalist boss, right? Oh, he's got stone daggers. That's surprising. The name like Ice Hide. I thought he was a water Elementalist boss. Lots of shutdown. He shut them down hard. He's got fire and elementalist spells. Or uh, fire and earth spells. Ooh, a scroll. 10 minute increased experience. Go ahead and use that. I'm not sure how much time we have, how far we are into this though. Following this river Hopefully this is the right way. Oh, look at this moth boss. Or okay, there's two separate groups, three separate groups maybe.
build puts out pretty decent numbers. Pretty happy with it. The Chaos Storm, Wasteful Worry. Oh, it's a warrior. That means empathy. Ouch. Get some energy from this guy. looking flower there I feel like this is the right way really have no idea we need 11 almost 12,000 more experience level 20 Whoops, he already had empathy on him. What a waste. Do it. I wanted to ignore the green, big green arrow, but I find myself kind of gravitated towards it. That's a dead end over there. Probably going the most uh, <laughs> inefficient way. I swear I watched that Abaddon video. I just didn't remember where to go. Whatever, we got a nice experience. I mean, we'll get there eventually. Fighting new enemies, that's good. I was getting sick of those centaur. I thought I could predict its skills. Oh, they're warriors. Gonna take a bunch of damage there. Okay, got it. These guys have very spammable skills. The interrupts are not really that devastating. There's your river! We're almost there! We managed to find it. Like, even after watching that video, I just had this constant feeling that we're just totally lost going the wrong way. Never doubt. Never doubt again. Uh, let's fight these guys. We have the scroll. I don't want to waste it too much.
All right. Cedric Rogers, let's see what you got for us. Sorrow main. I think we have an. Oh, we need four more. Oh, he's another armor salesman. Okay, we're here. Thirsty River. We got here in 35 minutes. Not bad. Uh, and we managed to do a quest to get some skills and find the. Uh, what do you call it? The um. Attribute. Quest. Yeah. We're here. All right. Thanks for joining. We got this video. Oh, I wanted to get under 30 minutes. We're a little bit over. Sorry about that. Anyway, the next time you uh, see me, we're going to be doing a co-op mission of Thirsty River. So hope to see you there. Um, if you are ever interested in joining me in a video, just send me a message or leave a comment on a video below. I'll leave a comment below on the video and then I'll be happy to find a way to play together. But anyway, until next time, peace.